Good morning, everyone out there in Hero Clicks land. This is Daniel Powell with Click Stuff, uh, bringing y'all a part two to our uh, Marvel Hero Clicks Rise and Fall unboxing. Uh, today is Tuesday. Today was scheduled to be uh, the Fast Forces Play at Home kit and uh, map video that we had. Um, but I'm here today with a little something different, a little something extra. Um, YouTube failed us yesterday. So the main upload that we had for our unboxing video, um, YouTube messed up the quality. Um, we film everything in 4K, um, and upload in 4K. Uh, the upload didn't take, um, for some folks. Uh, some folks were able to see the cards, uh, see the stats, see the powers on our dual cam setup. Uh, some folks weren't. So I uploaded the cam only video yesterday uh, to show some folks and um, you know, uh, so what I'm going to do today is I got my left, I unboxed and put every figure on every card um, and so if you want to get to that content, uh, you might want to skip forward just a couple minutes, uh, but what I want to address first is, uh, you know, unboxing videos are one of the things that get uh, a lot of a new attention on our channel. Um, and, uh, so I thought maybe I'd take a minute for those folks that are new here, uh, to talk a little bit about Clickstoff. Um, Clickstoff is one of the largest Heroclix podcasts, uh, and, uh, communities, um, Facebook communities, uh, for Heroclix. Um, you know, uh, we get a lot of, uh, positive feedback, overwhelmingly positive feedback on these unboxing videos, because we are... Very excited, very passionate about Hero Clicks, and uh, but you know we had uh, we had some folks with some negative um, negative uh, feedback. You know when you put stuff out on social media, you you expect that. You know um, so you know if you're if you're thinking to yourself, oh Dan, you don't need to explain yourself and talk about yourself and uh, that sort of thing. And well, you know, you're, we appreciate you as a fan, right? So this is not for you. These are, this is not for the overwhelmingly uh, majority of folks. Um, but you know, we, we certainly appreciate WizKids giving us all of these unboxings. Uh, you know, if you look back on our channel, we've done these for a couple of years now. Um, you know, we at Clickstoff, you know, we, uh, Myself, I'm a two-time back-to-back rock world champion. Um, Tyler Spees, one of my co-hosts, is the 2018 WizKids world champion. Um, you know, uh, as far as acting skills go, uh, I I'm, don't hold a candle anywhere to Mr. Scott Porter. Um, and uh, as far as a studio and setup, I just have my uh, iPhone that records in 4K. Um, you know, we uh, have a mic for the podcast and a computer. And, you know, we have just the best we could possibly do as a normal person. So I don't have a fancy studio. Uh, this is my upstairs uh, loft area. Um, it's about the best place for lighting in my house. Um, so, you know, we get a lot of comments. You know, I didn't show the cards long enough. I, I went too fast. It was unprofessional. Um, you know, we, it's one of those things, like I was saying, um, unboxings get some of the new people to our channel and you know a bunch of varying content and I, and I realize that I'm not going to be able to uh, please everybody um, you know it's just impossible to do um, but what I wanted to come here today is uh, just to do a little explanation we try to do the best we can we at Clickstoff bring passion for the game a passion for high-level competitive play for hero clicks um, and proven, proven play, proven play with wins, placements uh, for probably about the past six years or so in Hero Clicks. So, all of that aside, um, I want to go over and show a few of the things that we did miss yesterday, uh, try to show some of the cards, go over the brick collation, on to much more positive things here. So, one of the things I was the most excited about and neglected to show, and I'll start him right off the bat, was Mr. Blob. So Blob, Hawaiian shirt Blob. I think I may have showed his sculpt, but I didn't show his card. Uh, that was totally unintentional. Um, 
you know, I don't know how well you'll be able to see um, his flip-flops there that I raved about on the initial unboxing. Uh, these sculpts are really great. Uh, so I'm going to try to showcase all 50-ish sculpts. We did get some duplicates, uh, so 10 boosters, uh, five, boost, 5 figures of booster. It's 50 figures. So Blob, very great. Let me go off and show off his card. Uh, he is 7 clicks for 50 points with the Brotherhood of Mutants team ability. I'll try to keep that up on the screen for our folks. I appreciate all the folks on Realms, uh, HE Realms, getting these things coded and up on the unit section here. Um, pretty exciting stuff. So I'll try to take my time here. Um, you know, Jason, I'm no, I don't have Jason here for pronunciation or comic, uh, comic history. So, uh, you know, Jason's always helps me out with that. Uh, so the other big piece that we are excited about, at least on our video, uh, is the Uncommon Professor X, who has the ability that mimics the, uh, form the new Fantastic Four uh, that we've seen. So, uh, Red Rally Die on him. He's 25 points for four clicks. Um, so, maybe not a lot of... Uh, show those. Uh, and again, you know, if I'm showing these too fast, I'm trying to slow down and take my time. I'm usually a very quick person. I play hero click rounds pretty quickly. So if I'm going too quick. Hopefully this video comes through in high enough quality um, that uh, there won't be any sort of issue there. So um, this is the legacy card, GSX Magneto. Um, I did talk about his card quite a bit in the last video. Uh, so I'll just kind of show it up there on the screen. Um, I know another one. Um, so I'm going to start, I want to end with the higher rarity stuff and um, go from there. So uh, Banshee was another one that I raved about on the sculpt, but may not have shown the card fully. Um, so he's got uh, 75 and 45. At 75, he's got seven clicks. Six range, triple target um, with Rally for his uh, uh, attack die whenever he uses Psy Blast. So X-Men team ability, 45 points. Try to show him off pretty well there. Uh, let's see, who do we want to do next? I better get moving here because so sometimes we hear that the unboxing videos are too long. Sometimes we hear that they're too short. I don't know. It's a balance. So I want to just take my time on this one a little bit longer. I've got some time this morning. So um, if I go too slow for you, well, this is uh, maybe not the video for you today. Uh, so we got two Hellfire Club card, uh, two Hellfire Club guards in the brick. They grant adjacent friendly characters with the master uh, Hellfire Club keyword mastermind, but only to choose the guard. And there's a bunch, few figures in the set that generate these, along with some of the other generics. So, uh, sculpt, pretty cool. Three clicks for 25 points with toughness, so takes four damage total to kill him. Um, yeah, I like him. There are some clicks like Blackheart that uh, Scott previewed that'll put them on the click number nine, uh, but that interacts specifically with some of those other clicks. So like Dark Phoenix can't do anything to turn the Hellfire Club guard into uh, click number nine, but uh, Blackheart can, and uh, I don't know if we've seen anyone else just yet that can do that. I don't think we got anyone that can turn them to click number nine. Uh, let's see. So we've got, I think I got just the one Shi'ar Soldier. 20 points for three clicks with toughness. Um, and they have the Shi'ar flag object, light object. Um, which I don't think we've quite seen what that does just yet. Um, and I actually got two of those Shi'ar Soldiers uh, in the brick, so... Just move them over here to the box as we go along. Knocked 
over Mr. Havoc here. Uh, and then two common Wolverines, 001. He leads off the set. 45 points for five clicks with toughness. Uh, the rally die for him is for regeneration. Uh, he has traded regeneration. So, um, you know, uh, nothing to talk home about on the sculpt, probably. Just a generic sort of berserker barrage charging up for Wolverine, I would say. I do like all the Wolverines, though. I mean, I'm a fan of Wolverine, um, you know, for maybe a little bit of extra color. Um, like, so when I say, like, Berserker Barrage on Wolverine, uh, Blackheart, I was really a big fan of. Uh, I played a lot of the Marvel versus Capcom, Marvel versus Street Fighter games in the arcade uh, when I was younger. So Blackheart it was one of the first figures from Amazing Spider-Man set that I sought out when I first started playing Hero Clicks. Uh, just because of that connection uh, that I had. So, uh, but Berserker Barrage Wolverine, that was one of his specials. And, um, yeah, anyways. I got two common, two of the common Sabertooths. Uh, Brotherhood of Mutant Team Ability, seven clicks for 60 points. Uh, 12 attack. And the rally die for him is for his blades, claws, fangs. So, I like that a lot. Either you're rolling a 5 for blades or you're rolling a 6 for blades. Either you're rolling a 5, rallying a 5, or you're rolling a 6. So, uh, and again, we didn't see anything except for red rally, which is opposing attack rolls in this brick. So... Hopefully we see some friendly attack rolls and all attack rolls somewhere else in the set. Uh, let's see. Multiple Man. Um, he was in Scott's video as well. Um, I think I only got one Multiple Man in the brick. Um, I don't know. If I, get, if I find another one, I'll make sure to say it. Uh, two skinless men, skinless men, common skinless men. Uh, again, a really great sculpt. Um, 30 points for three clicks. And then he's got toughness, super senses. When skinless man uses super senses and succeeds after resolutions, you may give an adjacent opposing character an action token. So he is pretty scary looking. So, But a very nice sculpt. Like, Fix and I rant, uh, raved, I shouldn't say ranted, we raved about all the nice sculpts in the set. And now that I'm getting a second look at them this morning, they are, they did not disappoint. Um, so one common Sentinel, I think we showed him off pretty well too, but just for him, 25 points for three clicks with invulnerability. Um, Sideline active. Uh, once per during your opponent's turn, if they hit with three attacks or two attacks made by characters with the X-Men keyword, after resolutions, you may place the Sentinel from your sideline on click number one in your starting area. Uh, so, uh, that's pretty cool to get some extra folks out. Uh, you know, I don't know if they will garner a sideline spot, but if you have one and like instead of maybe a third other figure or maybe another instead of one of your shifting focuses you uh you include one of these sentinels 25 points for an 11 attack six range double bolts with end cap and sidestep that's a giant um you know that's not a uh, it's not a bad thing and then when he's ko'd instead of putting it in your ko area turn them to their starting line and add them to your sideline they are still scored so you can keep uh Keep regenerating them. And we've seen the Master Mold that's coming out later this year. Um, came out a little bit for the Hero Clicks for Huntington event. Um, all right, let's keep moving here. Um, Marvel Girl is the free rally, or the rally die for TK is free. Common Marvel Girl. Let's keep on rolling here. Uh, Raza. Has Salvage. We talked about Salvage. He is the Star Jammer uh, for this set. Their Star Jammer theme. So we talked about Chode 
quite a bit. Let's go ahead and grab him. I, you know, they've gone like over the top for the chode sculpts in the past few sets. So, it's always interesting. I, mean, I don't know much about Cho, to be honest, uh, from the comics, but uh, he's got like a little uh, little guy on his shoulder there. Interesting. We're still uh, waiting to see Warstar, too. Um, a couple folks mentioned that Iceman. So, I'll show Iceman here. Uh, on Blob there, I did want to mention uh, thanks to uh, Johnny Dunn and uh, Anthony Felty for, uh, for mentioning Blob to me. And I uh, just want to give them a quick shout out for being, uh, being a cool fan and uh, supporting us. So, quick little shout out for you guys. But there's the Iceman, uh, five clicks for 45 points, six range, dual target in cap. And then his rally die gives an extra action token as well if you use that. Uh, we got two common war paths. Hopefully, these will come through. Yeah, five clicks for 50 points with toughness. You got outwit at the end of his dial. Kind of wish he had outwit top dial. That might give a little bit of a boost to the Hellions keyword that he has. Uh, Smasher. We got two Smashers. And I am two Smashers. A uh, really long dial on this one. I know he's been previewed, I think, out of Scott's videos. Um, but sidestep, close combat expert. So he's 12 for 4 for 100 points, uh, or even 11 for 3 for 30 where he's got three clicks. Um, and he's got the Exospec technology. Uh, choose a listed power to use this turn, then roll a D6, five through six. You may choose an additional power to use this turn. So charge for a clake, poison, exploit, weakness, and then power. So potentially two powers a turn for 30 points on your Imperial Guard, Shi'ar, or soldier teams. Um, or some great filler for sealed. Again, new uh, in the current rules that were just released, uh, Empower is a huge deal because of the damage boost. Uh, the Uncommon Mystique, five clicks for 40 points. She starts out with Stealth, Brotherhood, and X-Men team abilities. And then Rally for Super Senses. Uh, before rolling the D6, she may remove the Rally die to use it as the result. Uh, the uh, generic brood, we just got one of those. Three clicks for 15 points with toughness. Um, nothing particularly, just a generic die. So we'll go ahead and show the super rare brood queen next that generates the broods. Uh, we are about, I don't know, about halfway done here. So the brood queen uh, is 100 points. Uh, stealth. Uh, blades, 18 defense, 3 damage exploit throughout most of her dial. And um, scratching my head there with the Brood Queen. Um, so she's got leadership, mastermind, and when Brood Queen uses leadership and succeeds, she may generate the Brood on click number one or power generate the Brood. Uh, toughness, and then whenever Brood Queen takes damage after resolutions, you may move each friendly character named Brood up to two squares. So constantly moving. Nice little gimmick there with the broods that she generates. Um, and she's got cosmic energy for 100 points. So that was our first super rare that kind of made sense. So Colossus, Colossus is the rally die. Um, for impervious, six clicks for 75 or four clicks for 50. Uh, impervious and protected outwit throughout his entire dial. If you have not seen him yet, he was one of the first ones previewed in game trade. Uh, Darwin, the really long dial, mastermind fodder, um, opposing characters targeting Darwin with an attack can't have their attack or damage values positively mar uh, modify, and he has safeguard 
Pulse Wave and Poison. So this guy could be kind of a terror, maybe with some equipment on him. I don't know, maybe Darwin needs to hold the gauntlet. 30 points, though. Oh, that'd be cool. I like that. Darwin equipped with the gauntlet. Uh, X-23, uncommon. X-Men team ability. Kind of a standard charge. Stealth, blades, claws, fangs, dial. Uh, impulse, common. Energy shield, deflection, toughness. Um... Deal and after resolutions, after she uh, impulse takes damage, after resolutions, deal and adjacent opposing character one penetrating damage. So, I like that. Sebastian Shaw was our Krakoan revival piece that we got in our brick. Uh, very long dial, and he can go to his super powered click. Um, eight clicks for 100 points with invulnerability, mastermind. Uh, down dial, invulnerability to start. Um, so, I like him. I think he's got some potential for Krakoan. Uh, quiet Council, so that's why he gets the Krakoan Revival. So, also X-Men. But he's got uh, Hellfire Club, Marauders, Quiet Council, X-Men, Politician, and Ruler. So, might have to play around with him a little bit. I think he's got some... Glaring weaknesses, but maybe they can get taken care of. I don't know. We got two Havocs, two Common Havocs. Oh, we got about 15 pieces left. Two Common Havocs. And show the front. And the back. So his Rally Die is on Energy Explosion. Let's see. Uncommon long shot. Long shot always has some potential. His prob is his prob special ability here is really nice. Probability control when he's the target of the attack, he may use it regardless of range and line of fire. So you'll always be able to prob. Uh, not always, but there's there's a special people that you can't special hero clicks that you can't prob. But uh, if he's attacked even from great distance he'll be able to re-roll that attack on him. So, that's cool. Long shot always working with the odds there. Uh, Kalisto. Traded in power. Always something to take a look at. Underworld team ability so she can carry. Leadership, that's always strong. Um, Excalibur, Hellfire Club, Morlocks, Ruler. So, let's see here, uh, Corsair, we've had a couple of Corsairs recently, he's got the salvage trait from the Star Jammers, uh, let's see, Marvel Girl, we showed her in a second Marvel Girl, Silver Samurai, he has the phasing teleport, Silver Samurai was also in the, uh, Marvel versus games, uh, the arcade games. So 65 points for seven clicks uh, with phasing. I like phasing. I like the phasing with the uh, attack on him because you can combo things with that. It's not just a generic attack anymore. So that, uh, that makes it uh, very, very powerful with a lot of potential. So. Uh, Polaris, Polaris, so five clicks for 35 points, a lot of, a lot more clicks than I would expect, um, and she's got rally for knockback, so, uh, you remove Polaris's rally die to knock back a character within range of line of fire, five squares in any direction, so, I like her quite a bit. 
well. Um, no, we'll wait on him. Uh, Dr. Morrow McTaggart, one of the little bit more powerful pieces in the set. She does have a rally die and she can power ra load a rally die to an adjacent friendly character with the X-Men keyword and then she can remove her rally die to heal an adjacent character to clicks. So we talked about her quite a bit in the last video. Uh, On to some of the rares. Malice. Five clicks for 45 points. Uh, and then she has the ability to turn into um, a standard character on your sideline. So uh, she can also turn into the Polaris that I showed earlier. Blink is our transporter for the set. 60 points for six clicks. And then she's got Passenger 3 for characters that share a keyword with her, but she also has Age of Apocalypse, Exiles, Generation X, Jean Grey, School for Higher Learning, New Mutants, Utopia, and X-Men. So she is carrying quite a bit of this whole set. So And other things, other X-Men. So obviously X-Men is the biggest one. Uh, Dakin. Dakin. Sorry for the Wolverine fans. Again, I don't have Jason here for... Pronunciation, seven clicks for 70 points. So he has the um, poison. So when Dakin hits, give each character a poison token. Characters with poison tokens can't be healed and can't use the stop ability for the rest of the game, even, this, even if this ability is lost. So you get him into position and um, very powerful there. So Hezaba. 40 points for five clicks with super senses, kind of a generic charge dial, no team abilities, uh, star jammers, and salvage trait. Um, resurrection of Corsair once per game when a friendly character with a star jammers keyword would be KO'd. Instead, you may turn them to their non -la their last non KO click, then roll a d6 and heal them half the result. Um, if you choose another friendly character for this effect after resolutions turn, Hezaba to her last click. So. Pretty cool interaction there with Star Jammers. Um, tempo. 35 points for four clicks with flight, super senses, and adjacent opposing characters can't use super senses along with uh, her having prob, or Heather, yeah, her. Um, her having prob on dial as well. So that's... That's really neat. Uh, you know, the ability to just take away Super Sense's past protected abilities is very powerful as well. So, Destiny, 35 points for Prob, win four clicks, six range, and then her Rally Die is she can remove her Rally Die to reroll the result. So, as long as you can keep loading up five, she can get that additional reroll as well. So Destiny's always powerful. We are getting a legacy card of her in the set. Um, Lalandra, rare, uh, five clicks for 50 points. Uh, Leadership Mastermind, she generates the CR soldiers and uh, has star-crossed lovers with Professor X where they both increase their leadership roles by plus one. All right, so just the last couple of figures in the set. So before y'all tune out, I would like to just thank everybody for watching. Um, thanks everybody for dealing with us, right? Uh, dealing with technical issues, right? And uh, how we recover from those technical issues. So we recover from those technical issues by giving y'all a little bit more content. Um, so Emperor Vulcan here, he's got leadership mastermind. Uh, he generates CR soldiers. And then last... But certainly not least is, oh, sorry, last, not last and not least is Duckin, super rare, six clicks for 50 points, uh, Shi'ar, he generates the Shi'ar soldiers, um, and then unique friendly characters with the Shi'ar keyword that occupy are adjacent to one plus Shi'ar flag light objects, modify range plus one. 
Um, and then he's got power, make a close attack, targeting a single opposing character instead of normal damage. Deal one penetrating damage until, and until your next turn, the hit character has immune, immobile, and can't target the kin unless they are the only character on their force, even if this power is lost. Um, so he starts out with that with a 10 attack, side blast, but it's instead of normal damage. So that's, that's neat. 10 attack though is hard to build around. Imperial Guard, Shi'ar, Ruler. And then last, but certainly not least, is Duple. I'm just gonna say Duple. Duple, 75 points for four clicks and two stop clicks. Uh, penetrating, he starts out with running shot. Opposing characters within range can't be placed. And he's got Cosmic Energy and Team Player. And then his attack power, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Power, Unequip all opposing characters within range. Then his third click is Stop, Impervious. Other characters within range can't deal penetrating damage. And then his last click is Stop, Probability Control. When this click is first revealed, Dewpool can't be healed for the rest of the game. Uh, and then opposing characters within range can't use Stop. Uh, he has six range, double targets. He is tiny, so no equipping this fella. Uh, but dupe and pool together, so quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of goodness there. So impervious, prob throughout his dial, hard to KO, decent enough stats that you can get him into the fray. Um, you know he's one of those things that your opponent could ignore, but he's got enough stats that you can get him into position, and they can't ignore him. So I like him quite a bit. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully a little bit deeper dive into some of the clicks uh, was helpful for folks. Um, you know, check out our other unboxings and, uh, you know, click like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks WizKids for the unboxing again and thanks everybody for watching. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day.